Hollywood writers go the great lengths making sure what you see on television is as accurate as possible. But when it comes to forensics, how much of what you see is actually real? Forensics case number three, breaking cell phones. Okay, now here's the scenario. The bad guys are on the run, the police are closing in. The leader of the gang pulls out his burner cell phone, gives out his final instructions, then breaks the cell phone in half to throw off the cops. But does snapping a phone in half really put the bad guys in the clear? Well, let's go talk to an expert and find out. I would say most of the criminal shows, uh, you watch the guy take the cell phone and he breaks it in half. Well, that's a great thing to break it in half, but if you think about it, you're not doing anything. You're removing the screen from uh, the data container. So think about unplugging your monitor from your computer. It doesn't destroy your computer, it just makes it now inconvenient for you to be able to see the data that's on your computer. So with a forensic tool or with another tool or replacing the screen, we can then bring back that data uh, as it is on the phone. So breaking a phone in half and throwing it into two different places looks cool on, on camera, but it has no effect uh, in the forensic world. All right, so as you can see, the only thing you're gonna get when you snap a cell phone in half is just a broken cell phone. The bad guys might get away with it on television, but here in the real world, it's definitely forensics.